Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the side quest Tensions on the High Road here in Dragon's Dogma 2, so let's jump into it. So to start this quest, you will need to have visited back Batal and completed the side quest called Welcome to Batal, which pretty much starts automatically when you first arrive and you get to meet a guy named Ragnall. Now, after you have spoken with him and completed the Welcome to Batal, all you need to do is travel back to Vernworth. And if you make your way to the statue in the middle of the merchant quarter, you're going to be approached by a soldier named Simon. Now, Simon is going to tell us that he needs help with the Dragon's Dogma motorcade, where we are going to have to help him escort an ox cart. Now, the ox cart that we need to escort is going to depart from the checkpoint rest town. Now, obviously, you can run your way there, which will probably take forever, or you can take the ox cart that's on the western side of Vernworth and fast travel to the checkpoint rest town. This is a great option because once you get there, all you have to do is hop off the ox cart and right behind you are going to be all the soldiers, including Simon, that we're going to need to speak with to progress with the quest. Now, shortly after the escort begins, Ragnar is going to pop out of the woods and stop our escort. And there's going to be a little confrontation where we are essentially going to have to pick sides. The game is going to tell you to pick a side. Essentially, what you'll need to do is either attack Ragnar or you will have to attack the soldiers. I recommend attacking the soldiers as they are the true bad guys in this quest. But either way, you'll end up getting the same rewards. It's the same thing and essentially the same quest. Uh, but you just kind of pick who you want to defeat. Again, highly recommend taking out the soldiers. Uh, but all you need to do at this point is swing your sword at somebody. So I attack the soldiers. As soon as you do, you'll get a little bit of dialogue from them. And then you'll just need to fight the soldiers. Now, I didn't need to fight all of them. I think I took out one and then it automatically queued another dialogue uh, scene. And after that dialogue scene, you'll speak with Ragnall for a little bit. And then he'll run off into the woods and tell you to follow him. Now, Ragnall is going to run off to a place called the Guerco Cavern. It's pretty close on your map. You'll have a little yellow indicator showing you exactly where to go. But once you make it to that cavern, all you want to do is go inside and eventually you will end up falling through the floor, like really close to the entrance, which is part of the quest. And once you fall down to the bottom, all you need to do is follow the main tunnel. There's really no other directions that you can go. And as you go through that main tunnel, you will end up reuniting with Ragnall, who's also stuck at the bottom of the cavern. And once you get down there, you'll have a couple enemies that you need to fight. And by couple, I mean like literally two. You'll get some dialogue and then you'll try to find a way out. Now, again, this one is super easy. There's not any other directions to go. So just follow the main tunnel until you make it outside where the campfire is. Now, just be careful at the campfire. You will have more enemies to fight, I believe, like five or six. So just take your time with this. But you and Ragnall will kind of tag team the five or six enemies that are out by the campsite. Once you finally are able to defeat them, you guys will go to sleep and wake up the next day. You'll have a little bit more dialogue and you'll once again talk about getting out. Now, what you need to do is go through the other tunnel. So you're essentially going to go back into the cavern. There's two ways. You'll see the way that you initially came out to the campfire. You want to go back in on the other side. And as you go through that, you'll go through the tunnel for just a little bit. And then it'll cue a cutscene where the rocks fall in between you and Ragnall. He'll tell you to keep going. He'll find another way out. And after that little dialogue cutscene ends, you will essentially be outside of the cavern and the quest will be complete. But this is how to complete Tensions on the High Road here in Dragon's Dogma 2. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.